Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is the US Futures Weekly Chart Analysis for the week ending 19th of January 2024. First chart is the US Dollar Index Futures. And we saw last week the market developed a hinge. And there it is there. We were looking for a response with a increased spread. And that's pretty much what we got this week. Now, this chart is a really nice chart. The levels all make sense. We've got a little breakdown here. You can see the market caught it there and there and there. We'll just leave the line back here though, otherwise you're gonna have too many lines on your chart. And here was another breakdown, which the market caught here and then through here. But this is the line that's the most important right now. Here, you can see price pushed up and slightly through this line this week, but then closed right at it again in a position that suggests it could go higher or it could test for supply. So the most likely response is for a test for supply with a narrower spread prior to any attempt to push through. The market could just grind through. It's unlikely it will accelerate through. And it's less likely it's going to break down from here, at least in the near term. So I'd be looking for a test for supply, a little narrow spread down bar, closing mid to high, probably on reduced volume. And that would leave the market well placed to push higher again in response. The increase this week in the US dollar index futures put almost all the other markets under some pressure this week. They either closed lower or their push higher was thwarted to some extent. And those markets that did show some strength were going against the grain to some degree. And that means those markets really are showing some underlying strength. So next chart is the E-mini S&P. This is S&P 500 index futures. We've got expected supply from the left here within this zone. You can see the market gapped through it just over a month ago. It's always a positive sign. Price has pushed up. It's consolidated and tested that breakout above the highs of the zone. And this week, after a test for supply just below the previous close there, price has pushed higher in response. This market is definitely showing strength and will attempt to go higher if trading conditions continue to be favorable. US Treasury 10 year note futures. And this market has been trending higher, pushing up, testing for supply, pushing up, testing for supply, Ran out of a little bit of puff here. You can see the volume was very low. Pulled back, pushed back to the line where we're expecting resistance to be at the highs of this bar's range. And it pulled back this week pretty much in sympathy with the strength in the US dollar. It did, however, attempt to hold on to the lows of the previous down bar. It's attempting to absorb the strength in the US dollar and not to break down. It did a reasonable job. It was feeling the pressure from the strength in the US dollar though. I would expect a modest attempt to recover early in the week. And then if there is strength in the US dollar, it'll probably be forced to go lower and perhaps test this 110 level. If the US dollar tests for supply, that'll allow this market just to grind up a little bit I don't expect it will be able to accelerate right up to the highs of the range. Copper price futures. Had the lows of the range come through here. So you can see where we are. And the market did find some support down here in the shadow of the previous lows. Next higher level comes through here. And the level above that up here like that. And the market's been consolidating up here where it appeared the market was going to make an attempt to push higher. But the strength in the US dollar has made it a little bit more difficult. 
But over the last two weeks, there's little doubt that buying support has come into this market. Two weeks ago, you had a narrow spread down bar on above average volume during a holiday period, and then the next bar was up. This together suggests that buying support has come in. That doesn't mean the market's going to accelerate higher. It may do, but it doesn't mean it will. But it does suggest that buying support is present in the market, and that will probably keep price moving sideways at least and probably thwart a continued down move. If the market did continue lower, the lows of the previous range through here would be an obvious point where the market would attempt to support. But I can see buying support in the market here, and that'll probably see price move sideways to slightly higher in response and continue this period of consolidation just below the highs of the next range. Next chart is gold price futures. Gold price futures have a low that goes through there. It's a nice chart at the moment. You can see here was where price broke out above this three bar shakeout, tested back, pushed higher. When price came back down here on this extravagant looking bar, it did respect the highs here. And if we carry that straight across, you can see the market remains above that level. This week saw some buying support in the market. Volume did drop off, so selling pressure was reduced and the close off the lows suggest there was some buying support in the market. The most important thing is price is holding on above this level and above 2000. This market's attempting to absorb the strength in the US dollar and not break down in response. So it's doing a pretty good job. Silver price futures are finding it a little bit more difficult compared to gold. This market is always more volatile. Here was the level in gold that I marked here. And this bar's low respected this level in gold. It pushed right through and had to find support adjacent to the congestion to the left. The market has been attempting to hold on to that level more recently, but this week prices just dipped below it. Now, spread was narrow, volume was well reduced and well below average, so selling pressure was light, but this market being a little more volatile just has found it a bit more difficult to maintain these higher levels, and when selling pressure does arrive, it does overwhelm whatever demand is in the market. So this market will be dragged around by gold to some extent, and sometimes it leads it. It's certainly not leading it at the moment, and it's under a little bit of pressure to hold on. But the gold market looks far stronger and will offer some support indirectly to this market. Light crude price futures have stabilised a bit more recently. There was the initial breakdown off the highs up there. And here was the secondary breakdown through here. You can see price is consolidating here now. And this level here does meet, match up nicely with this level. And here, so price is consolidating adjacent to this period of congestion to the left where the market consolidated previously, absorbed supply, and then pushed higher in response and moved up to the more recent highs. So the market's doing the same thing again this week. It really was a similar case to the previous three weeks where the market dips lower, pushes higher in buy the offer style, and then closes just a little bit off of its highs. So it's in consolidation mode. That generally means the market is stronger than weaker, and it may mean the market will push higher at some point in time. But these consolidation periods can go on for an extended period. You can see here it went on for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 weeks. So they can go on for an extended period before the market considers trading conditions to be favourable and attempt to push higher. Or if some sort of event happens, which means prices go up and supports a higher price. At the moment, the market is consolidating sideways. It's looking far more stable than it has done more recently. 
in particular during this period here, where I thought price was going to accelerate higher on this bar, and then it failed. Euro, US dollar, currency futures. You can see where the recent lows were formed down here. Price broke out and pushed up. And the market has tested this level here and found strength. The market ran out of puff up here. You see the volume was very low. There was no oomph behind the market. There was no force to push the price higher. And so it drifted lower in response. And it's found support this week as price dipped lower with the strength in the US dollar. It hasn't broken down. Price has closed off its low to some degree on an increase in volume. So it's looking like the market is trying to absorb the strength in the US dollar. We'll just see how that goes. If the market continues to be stronger in the US dollar, this market will find itself under pressure. And if it breaks below this level, then this level through here is the next level lower that price will probably move down and test for strengths. British pound currency futures, similar to the euro as always. There was the lows, price pushed out, came back and tested it, then it moved up higher in response. There was the new highs and you can see how this level has thwarted all attempts to push higher in response. But each time price pushes back, we see buying support arrive and generally on an increase in volume each time. So this market is finding support to hold this level, but it hasn't had the opportunity with favorable trading conditions to really break out in response. So this market is looking relatively strong, as is the euro to some degree, but it will need some favorable trading conditions. And that will normally mean the US dollar to show some weakness for this market to be able to really break out. Otherwise, sideways is the most likely move in the near term. Aussie dollar currency futures have been a little more volatile than the other two markets more recently. Here was where price originally made a push higher. It came back with a very wide spread, then pushed higher in response, tested this level, tested this breakout before price moved higher again. Here was the level to the left where the market found difficulty moving back above. And similar to those other markets, the market lost all of its force and effort down here, which is clearly illustrated by the low volume during that week. Price attempted to consolidate last week in here, but it's broken down this week. Although the close well off the lows suggest that buying support did emerge and volume was back at average levels. So this was a, probably a substantial attempt to consolidate. You can see the market has come back and effectively tested this level down here. So similar to this bar here, the most likely response here I expect will be a test for supply like that. And the market can attempt to hold on to this low here. I don't expect a push up to this high, at least in the near term. Bitcoin futures. Bitcoin futures had supply drawn out, pretty serious looking supply drawn out the previous week on this high volume here. And in response, the market has moved into consolidation mode and volume was well below average. So that suggests that selling pressure was not too serious as price pulled back. And this market, the first level of important support is around the 40,000 level and has held on to that pretty comfortably this week. So that's a good sign for the market. I don't expect the market will just accelerate higher in response. You'll probably get at least a secondary test, something like what happened here. Here's a period of consolidation. You'll probably find something similar to that will attempt to happen in response to this serious supply that was drawn out two weeks ago. Now you've got a period of consolidation and absorption here to the left. 
just below that level. So if the market was forced lower by increased supply, I would expect this level to be the next level that would offer some support to the market. Or you would expect to see some support emerge there. So the market did a good job this week. Spread narrowed, volume was low, price closed off its lows for the week. And that suggests the market is making a pretty good attempt at consolidating, which is absorbing the supply being drawn out and the lower volume suggests that supply didn't chase price down. So that's a good sign. I do expect the market will probably continue to consolidate sideways and double and triple check before there's any serious attempt to push higher. Back to the US dollar index futures, just quickly to wrap up. This is the most important level on the chart at the moment. There's the little hinge in the background and the close above this bar's high, which was important. I expect this, you would consider an axis line here, and price, when it dips below, finds it difficult to recover above. It pushes up, and then it has to test for supply a little bit before it can clearly get above. Same here, the market was caught from above. It tried to hold on before it broke down. This is an axis line, which the market is needing to negotiate a path through and if the market is going to push higher in response then i would expect initially a test for supply and if the market is strong and supply is low an attempt to push higher but it'll probably be a grinding attempt it's less likely to be a real acceleration higher it'll be a grinding attempt perhaps over a period of time if price was to fail here, which is less likely at the moment, but always possible, then you've got a level through here, you've got the previous lows through there, which caught the market there, and then you've got these lows here. So there's plenty of support below the current price if it's required. Perhaps the intent is mostly towards the upside, but you would have expected the market to be a little stronger this week in its push if it really was going to accelerate higher. So it's going to grind no matter which way it goes. Okay, thanks for your time. We'll be back again to do it again next week. Thank you. See ya.